Nurturance of life. Life, in this definition, is an individual's sovereign reality. It is subjective and impressionable to the human instrument. Life is the wholeness of experience, flowing past the individual's field of perception, in the dimension of nowness. There is never a closure to life or final chapter written. It is eternal but not in the abstract sense of never ending or beginning, but rather in the real sense that life is ever expanding in order to express source intelligence in all fields of vibration within the universe of wholeness. The nurturance of life is the principle that an individual is in alignment with the natural expansion of intelligence inherent within all life. This is an alignment that enhances the life energy that flows past the individual with the clear intent of gentle support. It is the action of identifying the highest motive in all energy forms and supporting the flow of this energy towards its ultimate expression. In so doing, the action is performed without judgment, analysis, or attachment to outcome. It is simply nurturing the energy that flows from all manifestations and supporting its expression of life. This is a departure from the normal perception that nurturing support can be granted only when energy is in alignment with personal will. However, when the individual can view life as an integrated energy flowing in the expression of expanding intelligence, life is honored as an extension of first source. In this context, there is no energy that is misdirected or unworthy of support and nurturance. While this may seem contrary to the evidence of abusive energy upon Terra Earth, even energy that is laden with evil intent is, nevertheless, energy that is flowing outward in search of a higher expression. All forms of energy can be nurtured and supported to their highest expression. And this is the fundamental action of this principle. It requires the ability to perceive the causal motive and ultimate expression of life energy as it passes through the individual's sovereign reality. Energy is an element of life that is so subtly interwoven with form that it is one. In much the same manner as space and time are inextricably linked in union. Energy is a motive. It is intelligent beyond the mind's ability to reason. While it is a force that can be subject to human applications that deny its highest expression, energy is always imbuing life with the motive to expand and evolve. Life energy is always in a state of becoming. It is never static or regressive in its natural state. The human instrument is very capable of nurturing this natural expansion of energy to forge new channels of expression and experience. In fact, it is the primary purpose of the human instrument to expand the life energy that encircles its sovereign reality within physical existence and transform it to new levels of expression that more accurately reflect the perspective of the sovereign integral. There are many specific actions that can be taken to nurture life. Each entity is, in a sense, programmed within its source codes to transmute energy 
through a tremendous variety of means. Working through the human instrument, the entity is able to collect and store energy within the human instrument and redirect its purpose or application. The transmutation of energy can occur on either the personal or universal levels of expression. That is, within the sovereign reality of an individual, energy can be transmuted to conform to a vision of personal welfare or aligned with a vision of universal welfare and goodwill. One of the best methods to transmute energy is through one's belief system. All beliefs have energy systems that act like birthing chambers for the manifestation of the belief. Within these energy systems are currents that direct life experience. The human instrument is aware of these currents either consciously or unconsciously and allows them to carry it into the realm of experience that exemplifies its true belief system. By cultivating beliefs that expand and transform energy, the human instrument is able to engage energy systems that are nurturing to life in all its myriad forms. When beliefs are clearly defined as preferred states of being, the energy system is engaged in nowness, not in some future time. Now. The energy system becomes inseparable from the human instrument and woven into its spirit like a thread of light. Clarity of belief is essential to engaging the energy system of the belief and allowing the nurturance of life to prevail in all activities. So again, the nurturance of life is critical to both personal and universal realities within the universe of wholeness, which contains all the fields of vibration that are interlinked like threads of an infinitely expanding fabric. Thus, as the individual awakens to their creative power to transmute energy and enhance it, with the clear intent of gentle support, they become transmitters of source reality and architects of the synthesis model of existence.